Hello everybody and welcome to the world premiere of the Minivision Urban Out. My name is Amius and first of all I would like to introduce you to Oliver Heimer. He is the head of the Mini Design team. Hi everybody. I am happy to be joined by Bernd Kaba today, head of Mini. Thank you Oliver. So Oliver and Bernd, please tell me where does the name Minivision Urban Out come from and uh, what does it stand for? Our vision uh, is a vision of space and its name was inspired on one hand by its urban roots and on the other by its versatile character that opens up surprising new perspectives. And the user is invited to explore all the possibilities within and beyond city limits in a totally new way. For us, the mini version Urban Out extends the user's private space into the public sphere. It is within our DNA uh, to keep Mini ahead of its time. We have successfully expanded into the compact car segment some years back. We have now asked Oliver and his team to create a vision of future electric mobility. And I'm thrilled they have come up with the Urban Out. You know what? Could you tell me, like, how does the Mini design team come up with the idea for a vision vehicle? Well, Amias, that's a really good question. You know what? Come with me. I will show it to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the beginning of the design process. Okay, got it. So very interesting. A totally blank page. But only at the beginning. We started by thinking from the customer's perspective and asked ourselves, how do we want to live in an urban environment in the future? And how we will we deal with the space? I mean, yeah, that's something we would all like to know, but how does that relate to cool new car features? It's not just about car features. It's uh, more about a change of perspective, mm -hmm. about how we can deal with interior space and how will we create experiences. With this in mind, we simply defined three exemplary mini moments. Chill, wanderlust and vibe. And they should reflect basic needs and situations that everyone knows. So, let me show you the first one. Chill. Wow. Think of a daily routine or waking up on a Saturday morning, chilling, the city is still quiet. All right, all right, I feel that chill moment. <laughs> and I'm completely relaxed, enjoying the moment. And how do I want to experience this? How do I prefer to sit or lay down and then on what? Yeah, that's a good question. So I like it more cozy, like couch, music, relaxing colors. Yeah, by looking at such moments, we were able to transfer these feelings to a Mini. And we wanted to design a space rather than a vehicle. Mm -hmm. A place to relax from the busy world outside. A little retreat, or we call it an urban oasis. A space that really adapts to the situations I'm in. And the technology that makes that possible should be invisible. Sorry, you said invisible? So we started the design process by taping the mini typical footprint right on the floor. And then we asked ourselves, how much space do I really need to feel comfortable in any given situation? So that sounds super exciting. Seems you're thinking vehicle design in a completely new way. That takes courage, doesn't it? We really needed to break with familiar conventions. So we started collecting moods, visual references like uh, material samples, sustainable fabrics, colors, you know, all the things that make up the various moments in our lives. And we tried to deeply understand what people want to surround themselves with in different moments. And we wanted to create uh, something that feels like home to a certain extent. Mm -hmm and definitely not like the classic car interior. All right, so I got it. So you designed a living room for the road. Well, that was the idea. And these seating units um, are designed to give you this feeling of chill and fit into the small space. And we call it the cozy corner. It's a space in which you can relax, read a book, have a longer conversation with your best friend, that looks extremely cozy. So, do I see that right? This retreat is completely made of fabric and, wait, I mean, it looked like I'm sitting under a tree. Yes. And the fabric in the cozy corner is backlit and plays with the impression of natural light and shadows. And in the front, we created another highlight. It's a dashboard that transforms 
into a day bed. Wow. And, you know, with ideas like these, we created a whole new lounge experience. Okay, cool. So, and this lounge can drive? Of course. <laughs> but our vision is not only about getting from A to B. It's much more about an exciting journey with a lot of joyful surprises. Like when I want to get out of the city during the day. Mm -hmm. And we've called this moment Wanderlust. It's a journey where I am digitally connected so I can discover recommendations from friends like you along my route. Yeah, I remember. So, for example, so you on your way from Munich to Innsbruck, you could go to the Olympic skiing stadium uh, I've told you about right over there. Yes, right. I would love to go there and see it. So, but seriously, this is the entire interior. I mean, where are all the instruments? Don't worry, we thought of everything. You know, in the Wanderlust moment, the entire interior is geared towards the driving direction. Mm -hmm. In this moment, we can either have the mini version Urban Out drive us in an automated mode, okay. or if you want to drive yourself, a steering wheel appears. The vehicle then can give you driving directions as it's fully connected. Mm -hmm. And you will find that information layer right on the fabric, which is hidden behind the textile. All right. Pretty cool. So, but these are the only features of the interior that actually remind me of a vehicle. Yes. We want it to be as reduced as possible. An unusual, comfortable mobile space. Mm -hmm. But let me show you something else. Okay. To change between the three moments, we developed an analog yet intelligent device. And we call it the Mini Token. And it's a beautiful tactile experience. At Mini, we call it Analog Love with digital connection. And thanks to that, the device becomes one with the vehicle. And here it is. Whoa, nice feel. And what do I do with this? You place it in one of those slots in the table. Ah, okay. And, and here's a third slot. Uh, what is that one for? This is for the third moment. We call it Vibe. And you will experience it now. Oh, wow, I like that. It looked like it's evening now. I like that kind of atmosphere. Yes, you know, at the end of an eventful day, you may want to spend some time with your friends or family. So check this out. The vehicle adapts to the situation and your needs. Mm -hmm. But let's take a closer look at the exterior too. Okay. Yes. You know, the vehicle comes across as really clean and minimal. And this made it even more important to think about the details as a contrast to the overall look. And what you see in many typical style, the wheels are at the outermost corners of the body. And they're inspired by skateboards, sparkle or glow in different patterns, depending on the moment you have been selecting. And the same for sure goes for the front and the rear lights. So, that's our visionary space concept, the Mini Vision Urbanaut. I'm totally impressed by what can happen when you put some colors on a blank page and your design ideas turn into reality. Thanks, Amias. It was really fun sharing with you how we are thinking about the future mm -hmm. of urban mobility and about creating a unique space in the city when you're not driving. You know what? 
I would like to try it now. So then, let's go for a ride moment. Right.